a high schooler or an art lover, art enthusiast that is ready for a challenge, stick around with me because today I'm going to take you through one of Oak Meadows fine art courses, which is drawing and design. I'm gonna walk you through it, so stick around with me. Back friends, if you're brand new to my channel, my name is Arlene with Arlene and Company. As I said before, I'm going to walk you through one of Oak Meadows fine arts programs in their high school section. So if you haven't ventured off to their high school courses, make sure to take a look because they have quite a bit of offering. And unlike their lower um, like elementary courses and such, it is all individual subjects. So you can pick and choose if you don't want to use absolutely everything or you just have an interest in a specific course they have a lot of offerings. One of the things that we ventured off to was art. As you may know, if you have been following me for a while over on Instagram, I have a very gifted artist, um, my oldest is, and um, she is constantly needing to be challenged in her art. So I went ahead and even though she is in middle school, ventured into their high school um, courses. And I'm glad I did because this has proven to be a hit so far. So this is drawing and design. This one I did purchase, unlike the other um, grade bundle that I received for my review, this I did purchase. And along with some other goodies that I just wanted to grab, but we'll see more of that later on. And if you missed my video for my sixth, seventh grader, um, curriculum picks. I'm going to put the I card up there so you can take a look at that and you can get a glimpse of the other stuff that we bought. All right, so the drawing and design, you will find it under their high school and then you go into fine arts and then you will notice a few courses. You're going to be drawing and design. There's, um, there's just a few of them and also like photography. Notice that some of them are going to have a little asterisk and that's to um, signify that there is technically a prerequisite. So if you are doing this on your own and not enrolled, because that is another option with Oak Meadow, um, there is a prerequisite to some of the fine arts courses, just like in other subjects, because it's high school. Um, so take a look at that. So I could have ignored that, but I wanted to follow the sequence. So I went ahead um, and started with the drawing and design. I felt like that was a really great foundation and just to also review some stuff. And also I felt like it was uh, something out of the box that she has not really explored. Um, they do sell, this is a used copy that I got. This is not the current edition. I think it's edition eight right now, um, but this is, a pricey textbook, I'm not gonna lie. And I thought that maybe they just had it expensive in Oak Meadow, and that's not the case. Anywhere I looked, this textbook was expensive, like over 200. Um, I did find an older edition. There goes the cat again. You always are gonna hear the cat at some point in the background of every video. I cannot avoid it. Okay, um, I went ahead and found on Thriftbooks a old edition, fifth edition, because um, reading um, the about section and such for a drawing and design, you use this textbook more so in the other um, fine arts program, but you are introduced to it in here. So I figure we can just kind of wet our feet on this. And even as used copy, it still was like 20 something dollars. But anyways, they sell this full bundle or you can purchase just the curricula, which is like your syllabus um, and that's it, or buy the whole bundle. Trust Price me, check everywhere. <laughs> that is what it was. Anyways, I just wanted to point that out because I know a lot of people like, you know, budget friendly and all that stuff. However, I really love the way that they did this. So let me take you um, through the drawing and design um, syllabus. Now, like I said before, you can do your classes independently, which means you just buy the curricula and you teach your kiddos just as um, you've always had in your homeschool journey and go about your day, do it however you like, or you can enroll. Now, um, I mentioned this option because some people um, that may be watching this are already in their high school or looking maybe next year for high school, and maybe you feel like you need a little bit to outsource or some backup. They do offer enrollment for all their levels, and um, they are an accredited um, 
distant learning school. So if you do enroll with them and you meet their credit requirements and such for Oak Meadow, you will be issue your child will be issued Oak Meadow High School um, transcript and diploma. Um, I do not have experience with the enrollment side of it. I do know that from the various Facebook groups that I have been over the years, people speak very highly of it. Um, and I'm a also. Facebook group for Oak Meadow as well. I have been on that for quite a while because I'm type A and I just have to prep ahead of time or like way ahead um and they speak highly of it but i can't talk on that myself because i've never done the distant learning will i ever consider that i don't know i'm not sure maybe i don't know i like the idea this is broken up into units and i did not expect this to be as big as a hit as it has been. So you have the introduction with the material list. The first one is understanding the um, gestural drawings, um, understanding contour lines, and then unit three, how drawing takes form, the midterm project, creating yourself. Then you have the part two, and you have the next part of your um, year, or you can say like term two for, uh, you know, if you're dividing your lessons like that. So your first um, l um, 18 lessons could be your first semester. And then the following could be your second. Um, part two is moving with darkness, a glimpse of color, the value of self colors in drawings, exploring oil pastels, building visual composition with unit eight. And um, your conclusion will be um, drawing your composition and, and proportion and the final project. Um, so these are 36 lessons, just like their other um, parts of their curricula that are divided into 36 lessons. So you can put them side by side if you um, have other Oak Meadow subjects and um, be able to like match it up with the week to go along and finish at the same time. Um, as I said, you are going to have um, this is the first course in the fine art series. And even though I was confident that my daughter could tackle um, the other um, fine arts courses perfectly fine, I wanted her to start from the beginning with them and then let it build up. So um, that was just something that was important to me. And then this textbook um, that is for this course, like I said, is The Art of Scene. It is the current edition, I believe, is the eighth edition the the bundle that they have under oak meadow for high school has the current edition so you don't have to worry worry about that if you're going to source it somewhere else is the art of seeing paul Zelensky. so i know i'm going to have to like search for things because their pages are not going to exactly match or the chapters and stuff but i was okay with that because like i said uh we are technically not in high school yet so there we go there is some instructions or additional um, instructions like you find in other Oak Meadow subjects for enrolled students, how to submit your work and such on and so on and material list um, as well. So here, just to give you an example, understanding the gestural. It has the nice introduction, um, supporting your understanding. It tells you like what pages to go to. So, I mean, like I said, this may not exactly have creative impulse. It is actually is still in the fifth edition starts on page 13. So we're cool. So I just wanted to give you an idea in case you're looking at different editions, um, you can get a good idea. So right here, you would read this to support um, the art um, instruction that you're going to be doing and i really do um love that part because you have that appreciation art study and art history all along your art instruction and that's always something that is very meaningful to us and my daughter especially really appreciates one of the things i did not anticipate i'm doing a flip as i'm talking um one of the things i did not anticipate was that my son is tagging along um so my son is like doing fifth sixth grade um this year and um he's actually wanting to join her in a lot of the um exercises and activities obviously is not at the same um you know level and things but that's totally fine because he's just doing it for fun where she is just trying to challenge herself and grow herself in her different art mediums and style and just grow in knowledge um as well now, if you are raising an artist, and this is like marked to like this gives me anxiety, but it's okay when it's a used copy. I never mark my books. You guys know this. It's gonna about be me. nudity and representation, things like that. You're it's, it's gonna have like the actual um, pictures and things to reference, but you can just. Um, see, this is a very extensive, extensive book. Now, I know that I actually saw that this was used in. Um, 
I think some college courses as well, this textbook. So that may be why the price range is where it is, but it's a very comprehensive art, um, art book. So, um, you know, I do like that we have it. So that is the art of scene um, for Princess Hall. So you have that first section, which is support your understanding. Then what is gestural drawing? So gestures is a motion you make with your hands or body to express the feeling or convey an emotion. Um, and then it, it puts it in perspective. And then you have the definition here on the side as well, just as you see in other subjects and then just like bring it up and then have it highlighted. So in gestural drawing, this is also true. Gestural drawings are expressive. They are also fast in the way that gestures are expressed. Lines are rapidly sketched onto the paper by the artist. So this was a really, really fun one. So basically the idea of this exercise was, um, you had um, each kiddo picked out a, um, an object that they were going to reference and keep their eyes on the object the whole time and not look at their paper. They may glance like for a second and, and that's about it without lifting their pencil um, from the paper and, and do continuous motions to draw um, the shapes and, and you know to try to draw and replicate the object. Um, this was something that was extremely challenging for my daughter because she's used to being a perfectionist with her art and being able to like, you know, just observe and, and reference back and make adjustments and things like that. Even as it being a challenge, she really enjoyed it. And then she continued to do the practice over and over again. So the reason I mentioned this, because even though this activity has it here as like, okay, your first lesson is a three minute one, and then it, it decreases in time to like one minute and such, they can repeat this exercise over and over again and watch themselves like how it improves or how their, um, their methods or technique improves to like get a little bit more accurate or just represent in a different way, whatever it may be. So this is something that they spend a lot of time in because they continuously did it with another object. Oh, now we're gonna try to do a fork or now we're gonna try to do this. And it was something that was very exciting to them. So here again, you have this introduction and now you have the lesson one. So you have the goals, you know, you will complete five three minute um, gestural drawings for lesson one. So um, they give you a, a benchmark, but you can go beyond that. Um, and then it gives you, you know, things to keep on. Work swiftly, timing yourself, drawing continuously, keep your eyes on the object you're drawing. So it's, it's taking them out, especially if you have a budding artist, taking them out of their comfort zone, right? Because a lot of times you see these art, fine art courses and, uh, or just regular art curriculum in, in the homeschool world and they're replicating someone's art or rec replicating a style. This is like pushing them somewhere else, you know, where it's not just necessarily making a pretty picture is going beyond that. So I really appreciate that. Again, you have support your understanding where you will be referenced back to the textbook. So if you don't get that portion, know that that will be the um, missing portion that you will uh, be omitting. If you don't get the textbook, you won't have that foundation to be able to reference it to, um, you know, the style of art or whatever, or that appreciation um, component or art history. So I know that I'm going to be asked, like, do you really need it? That is what you will be omitting if you don't get it. So I'm glad that I did. Um, then you have the preparation um, section and then step by steps. This also has the drawing tips here. Um, think speed, not accuracy. Again, especially for your perfectionists. And then you have the assignment here. So lesson one, continue assignment, locate five um, household objects, create five gestural drawings, three complete each drawing in, th in three minutes and go on there. And then lesson two, you go into one minute. So let me just skip on forward. Um, obviously I can't show you everything um, just so you can get an idea. This continues on just like this. So this is like just your syllabus. It's pretty thin, but there is 36 lessons here correlating it with also the textbook that I showed you. So how drawing takes form. Every drawing captures a three-dimensional shape onto a two-dimensional surface, and they explore that. So, you know, um, and then the definitions are on here. So if you want to add that vocabulary aspect to it, you definitely can. And then what they're exploring, um, and then um, they're 
is also, I never write on these, but there's always some kind of space that you can write on the syllabus and, and the curricula or the parent guide, but you have some space here for your doodle space if you if your kiddo wants to use this there. But my daughter has like her own art notebooks and so does my son. Um, here again, you have like the lesson goals, the vocabulary, the preparation, the step-by-steps, and then it continues on. So that is, I just wanted to give you a good idea of what that go, um, how it flows. Just looking a little bit fo um, forward so you can see the progression. So dramatic sky, um, lesson goal, you will use oil pastels to try to capture the drama of the sky. So, you know, they're incorporating their feeling, their motion and everything into a two-dimensional plane. So, you know, supporting the understanding again, the preparation and the step-by-step -step guidance. Um, this also helps why the textbook, because then you have that visual representation of what they're working on um, and what they will be looking at. So let's actually look uh, here and see if the pages match again. That's page 140 and the text is warm and cool colors. Um, and let's check that out. So again, if this is the addition that you find then, or one afterwards, you will know that, okay, you may be able to go as low as at least edition five. Um, but this is an old text that has been around quite some time. All right, so 140, warm and cool color. Emotional effects of color. So here is a couple of pages over uh, for the emotional effects of color section. And then warm and cool colors starts right here on page 145 so that page is actually um same and then color combination i'm just trying to give you a reference just so if you want to source this um elsewhere color combinations okay so this is very simple um i've only tried it with the beginning lessons of first few lessons um that we have um, so I haven't looked this far out. So it's very simple to find a section in the fifth edition. So I imagine, don't quote me on this, I imagine that if you pick fifth edition and on, it'll be very easy for you to find the content in the syllabus in your um, textbook, okay? Um, but if you can get the actual eighth edition, even better um, and go from there. All right, so I just wanted to give you that um, idea because I know um, some folks, this is not, you know, the price for this art curriculum being what it is, um, I think is, is, is right on the mark. Um, and, uh, but I know some people may get sticker shock with the textbook. So I just wanted to give you some other options. Um, and again, here is your final composition, your final lesson. Um, and I'm, we're very used to these with the other subjects of having like a final kind of review or exam or some things like that. And, um, you have those final draw again just to recap this is the first course in the fine art series so the other ones this is like your foundation and the other ones build on the concepts that they learned here the art of seeing is something you continue to see in your future so when you keep that in mind if you want to just go ahead and grab the bundle and you want to continue with uh, the art fine art programs from oak meadow you know that you're going to see it again right and then you're going to use it even more again uh, in the other courses because it builds on each other and it continues to develop and get a little bit more um you know components from it so again that you will be able to tell um right on the description on the top if there's a prerequisite for that specific um, course obviously you can choose to ignore it if um, you're just doing this on your own if you're enrolled those are some um prerequisites that are listed this was drawing and design from oak meadow high school section let me know if you have any questions um and that is all for today i'll see you guys next time you used to call me sweetheart